Say hi, Vim. Hello. Say hello, Autumn. I want you give a turn with Granny. Is done. Say See? hello to the camera. Get on. All right. Hmm. <laughs> I help. What are you making, Mom? Clay or a cob. Mom wants to make a claw cob. Yeah, Say hello. Baby. See? Look at me. Look at the camera. Smile. <laughs> wow, Mom, that's a lot of clay. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good, Dee. Draw from the uh, like goat. grass, but I'm not gonna steal the goat straw. I think we're almost there. And then we'll try this. This is gonna be a test oven. Let's see how it works. What do you think? Good. Good. Can you fly and fly it all the way up in the air? Can you? Can I fly in the air? No, the rocket. So oh. <laughs> can it? Well, it, it doesn't fly in the air. Why? Because... I know we could put wings on it. We can put what on it? Wings. Wings? Yeah. Do you think so? So I changed the formula for my mud. I was doing the mud that was pretty liquidy, so I added some more sand and other things, and I made the mud better, and then I started completely over. And now I have a rudimentary, hopefully functioning, tiny model of a rocket stove. in the hopes that maybe I could build a much bigger one. The wood goes in here, you just stick it in. They burn at the bottom. There's an updraft so that the smoke comes out the other hole. And this is a very tiny model. I have it on top of a rock and it looks pretty funny. But it only took me like 20 minutes once I figured out the design. The other design that I was doing with the grate was the kind that people usually do for a when they make it out of a can, and I realize this doesn't make any sense because I'm making it out of cob, and I didn't even use I didn't use a regular cob mixture like the professionals use. I just took some clay from the floor. Okay, see when their ears are back, that means that sometimes they're angry, but they all look like they're pretty curious.